ladies, obviously, you have your first lady on the iCar board. Uh, absolutely. Uh, we're, we're really pleased with uh, our new, new nominations. Um, Andrea McCarthy from McCarthy Panel Works in Mackay. Uh, they're a gold class shop and uh, uh, McCarthy's Panel Works have done, uh, they've been a gold class shop for a number of years. Um, fantastic uh, operation. Uh, having a, a lady on the board, um, I think, is going to bring some uh, some good stability to the board and, and obviously uh, another perspective. And uh, what we've tried to do, or the, the board of directors have always done, is to to have a nice even playing field uh, across all of our directors. So we have uh, Murray Howe from Valspar Industries. Murray is also a very visionary person, um, has uh, some great ideas and philosophies on training, and uh, Peter McMahon from Carcraft. So. Um, Peter being involved with uh, as an MSO through Carcraft and obviously um, uh, as part of Ambra, uh, that's going to help ICAR within those within those segments of the industry as well. So our board is very very good at the moment. We're pleased with it. I think it's uh, I think it's one of the best boards we've ever had. And um, talking of Carcraft, uh, their shops are undertaking the Ambra shop grading. Um, Presumably there's an element of training in that as well. Would that be with ICAR also? Oh look, there is a, a level of training. Um, they, uh, the Amber shop grading system is uh, over four levels for, for body repair. Um, and, and with, um, with the car craft, they have, to, they have to achieve a minimum of Amber um, shop grading body level two. And that requires uh, ICAR training um, for um, obviously their, their estimators and their body repair technicians. Um, they also have to have uh, welding certification. Uh, there's also obviously a, a lot of um, criteria for uh, management systems, occupational health and safety, which is obviously key for going forward and a whole lot of other equipment based um, criteria. But, uh, but certainly, yeah, training is a key component, and, and continuous training. I, I, it sort of worries me a little bit that we see people attempt training, and they do one or two courses, and then that's it. And they think, well, that's it, I know everything now, and I don't really need to do any more training because I am ICAR trained, or, or whoever, or Thatcham trained, whatever it might be. And, and the reality of it is two training courses don't doesn't cover everything that you need to know. and. Uh, I know when I started, things are a lot different now to what they were back in 1977. So, yeah, I think it's just it's just part of the change that we have to go through today. Well, um, in the UK, I believe the the panel beaters there have to requalify every five years. Oh, I think so. Um, obviously, that that is a great criteria to have in place. Uh, and that's legislated. Mm. Um, we, we're not that far advanced, I would say, at the moment. We should be. If we start to look at uh, the way vehicles uh, are built and the technology that's in them today, um, having a, a, an ongoing accreditation or a, a certification process, oh, I think, should be, should be within our industry um, for the benefit, A, of the technicians, the businesses involved, and most importantly for the consumer mm. at the end of the day. Um, they put their cars in our hands as because we're professionals, and, and our job is to make sure that if the car is, comes in as a five-star rated car, it leaves with five stars. And if we went back 10 years, it was all about the structure, not anymore. There, there, are, there are certain criterias um, within the vehicle at the moment, electronic, um, drivers, advanced driver systems, um, if they're not calibrated, repaired correctly, protected during the repair, we don't know that there's going to be an issue um, until there's a potential accident. Not every fault is going to bring up a, a warning light on the dash and I, people don't understand that. So those sorts of things, I think if we're into an accreditation period uh, every five years for a certification, Fantastic! I think it's a great, a great move for the industry, and it'll bring the level of professionalism up. Harsh words, but this is 2017. It's not 1977. Yes. <laughs>